Hi, I'm Sasha. And I'm Dahi. This is DNA Slot Cars. Welcome, folks. And we're going to be doing another unbox, review, and test. We sure are. And we're sponsored by 132slotcars.us. We certainly are. Folks, please check out 132slotcars.us. Um, a lot of these reviews would not be possible without Alan uh, and uh, Julia over there. Um, as you said, they're sponsoring this section of the channel, and it really helps us out if you do uh, check check them out. We've got slotets today, yeah. don't we? Yeah. And apologies, the these are well overdue. These reviews yeah. because I have been under the weather haven't i yeah. i unfortunately got the flu and i'd been quite sick for a bit uh, but i'm okay now and then this lady's birthday <gasps> and my first year in slot cars yeah so we it's one year for sasha when she got into slot cars from her birthday we've only been doing the channel for six months though and um yeah, I just think it's it's really great what's happened, hasn't it, over yeah. the last while. And, um, yeah, we've just met so many cool people. We've reviewed so many cool cars, gone to so many events. And what did you think about all those beautiful messages you got the other day? I was, I was full of happy tears. I just love that. Thank you so much, everyone. It meant so much. It really did. And... Uh, I just wanted to thank everybody as well, because what it really showed to me was what a fantastic community the slot car uh, space is. I mean, look at the effort people went to, you know, to go out of their way to record uh, personal messages to you. And I just think it's fantastic. It's it gives you that warm and fuzzy feeling inside, doesn't it? Um, I do want to say a, a special note and shout out to our friends uh, Shotgun Dave and Jim Cunningham because through some technical difficulties, their messages did not come through. Uh, so I will play those uh, two messages for you guys now. And they're very, very nice and special to receive those as well, wasn't it? Yeah. Do you want to say anything to Dave and Jim? Thank you so much for those videos. And my heart just started pounding when I saw that. Yeah. And I got it starting getting teary after that. Yeah, well, we'll play those for you now. Uh, we'll come back straight after that and we will dive into the reviews. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Sasha. Happy birthday to you. Have a great eighth birthday, Sasha. And tell your dad to buy you a slot car. Jim C. at the Slot Car Clubhouse. Sasha's turning eight. I started slot car racing when I was eight years old. So, Sasha, you got a head start on me. I remember my first slot car race 60 years ago. So, for Sasha's birthday, I wish her many, many, many happy slot car memories. Okay, folks, where are you going? Okay, folks, we'll start the review. So we have three slotted cars, and these are newly released. What have you got over there, Sash? So we got a Watkins Glen Lola. Yeah, that is a new Lola. Um, that is a B12, and that's from Watkins Glen. Um, 2016, uh, nice livery. Why don't you unpackage that one? Um, I have a very, very nice McLaren 8, um, 8D, and that's from Laguna Seca in 1973. I particularly like this livery, actually. It uh, really appeals to me. Um, we'll get this one opened as well. Um, and last but not least, we have a beautiful Porsche 962C. This is the number 30 and the Momo livery. And look at that. That yeah. was the 12 hour Sabring in 1992. Uh, this car came third. Uh, I think that's a real looker. Do you? Yeah. So what we're going to do is we'll unbox these. Um, and then once we have a quick look at them, you struggling with that one? Yeah. How about I open this part and you keep going? Yeah. yeah? 
So I can be like your cellophane breaker. How about that? Yeah. yeah. I'll give you a little bit of a closer look out of the wrapping. Got to use the teeth, folks. Got to use the teeth. Alan and Julia, thank you so much. Yeah, thanks for sending these out. We actually took these home with us from Tacoma, but due to illness and everything else, as I mentioned, we haven't had a chance to actually uh, take a look. Uh, unpackage those now. Let's take them out. Let's see what we think. All right. They're very nice. Love those cars. Superb. Look at that. Um, like that silver and it's sort of a like a wine uh, red um, coloring. We will take a closer look at these cars, folks. We will be going over to the turntable and the photo booth to get a nice close look at these, won't we? Why don't you show the folks that one? What do you think of that? I think this, you know my favorite colors, red, white, and blue. And like this, I think this one might be by the favorite colors. Look at but this. But as everybody probably knows, we love Porsches. We sure do. And, we sure do. And if you saw, I was doing an advent calendar for each day, and I picked the Porsche. You know, this um, Porsche comes with two spoilers, um, or rear wing as you call them. So this one actually has the metal attachment and this plastic section. Um, then we also have another, which is um, got a plastic um, component. So we're going to stick on the metal one. I like to look at that. So let's um, just remove the body here. All right, folks, so I have put on the spoiler on the 962. Now, I went with the plastic uh, riser um, just purely because it was the easiest one to put on in the time I had available. You can see this one here. It's uh, quite a thin aluminium and, yeah, very cool looking, but a slightly different size to it as well. But I just think this one is a little bit more bust, robust for racing. Really like how they've given uh, both of those there, Sash. What do you think? Yeah, that very nice. Usually nobody gives like choices of spoilers. No. But like the metal one was cool, like my dad yeah. said. But it's just the the plastic one's easier to put on. The question is. What do you folks call them? I call them spoilers, rear spoilers from uh, in Ireland, uh, but rear wing would be the more popular thing. What do you say? Spoiler? Yeah. Okay. Well, how about let's go over to the turntable photo booth. Let's get these in there and uh, see what they're like. Okay, folks, we are over at the photo booth. Let's just check out uh, the car Ma McLaren on the Magna Marshall 2. See what weight we've got. Thank you, Sasha. All right, so we've got uh, 62 grams for the slotted McLaren. Um, let's just zero this. All right, now let's see what magnetic downforce we have. All right, 102 grams of magnetic downforce. Very cool. All right, let's have a closer look at this car. All right, folks. So um, we just have it on the turntable now just to get a bit of a closer look at the car. What do you think of it, Sash? I think it's a really cool car. I'm so excited to race this one. I love its colors, and the spoiler's cool. It's like silver. It really is, isn't it? I'm excited to race this one. Very nice detail, and um, obviously you've got the stars and stripes, um, which will appeal uh, to the U.S. market substantially. Um, just a nice car. I love these Can-Am cars. Um, they're very easy on the eye. Um, I just love the open top as well. I think that's, uh, that's excellent. And this one, they've done a great job on this. Very nice indeed. Yeah, it really looks the part, doesn't it?
Yeah. Yeah, this is definitely a nice one, Sash. A nice one to add to the collection, don't you think? <laughs> yeah, definitely. Just said, yeah, this uh, you know car is available for 132 slot car dot US and uh, sixty nine ninety nine, I think, from memory. I'm looking forward to seeing this one on the track. All right, well, let's check out the Lola and uh, let's check its weight out and magnetic downforce. Okay, folks, here comes the Lola B12. All right, Sash. All right, so this is substantially uh, heavier, 79 grams for the Lola. Um, obviously, this is a, a bigger vehicle than the little can -Am. Yeah, so 79 grams on that. Let's uh, zero that out. And let's see what we've got. All right. So we have 181 grams of magnetic downforce. Nice. All right, we'll just take a quick look at the car uh, on the turntable. Okay, folks, so here is the Lola B12 slotted. Um, very nice indeed, actually. I have to say I do like that car. What do you think of this one, Sasha? I'm also really excited yeah. to race this one. The livery is really cool on this one. It is, yeah. The colors are awesome, and <laughs> the spoilers just really cool yeah it's very nice um obviously you got mazda sponsored you've got that wine color with the uh, dotted white line across separating out the black from the silver and more into a, a gray silver uh, look yeah this one is very nice looks nice nice under the lights doesn't it Sarge? yeah it's going to be a cool one in the dark very nice. All right, let's just pick it up and have a quick look underneath. All right. Your stereotypical um, slotted chassis. Very nicely put together. All right, Sasha, um, let's get this Porsche on there. All right, so we have 67 grams on the Porsche. Let's zero that out. Zero that out. Okay. All right, so we have one, three, five. Let's just adjust that slightly. Four, four, eight. Just make sure we're accurate. Uh, you just have to adjust this slight bit. Um, obviously, we've got the motor over. All right, so 153. We'll settle on that, won't we? Okay, so plenty of magnetic downforce there. Um, let's get this one on the turntable. Okay, folks, uh, this one is certainly a looker. Um, Marty Ford over two lines, if you're watching. I think this was on your slotmas list if i memory serves me correct um so far i think that it is definitely a worthy addition really like the look of this Same. it's yeah, a really nice. cool car it's just a real looker as i said you get two spoilers with it or two rear wings we've put on the uh, plastic one you have to disassemble the chassis um just to get that in there but yeah, very, very pretty indeed. Um, just to give you guys a closer look at it, let us know if you like this format. We just thought it would be interesting to check the weight, magnetic downforce, and get a closer look at the car. So I think, uh, what do you reckon? Is this time for the slot car queen? Do a little bit of a road test? Yeah, I'm excited to race all these three. Okay, we'll see you folks back at the track. Welcome back, folks, and I'm going to be testing three slotets, and I'm first going to be testing the McLaren Can-Am. And a beauty she is, too. Look at that. Yeah. And you can see the Porsche and the Lola over in the background. 
alongside a couple of other cars there. All right. Well, you uh, start whenever you're ready. This one's and good I'll just get some footage, okay? It's a quieter mouse. It looks pretty quick, Sash. Oh yeah, it's quiet as a mouse and quick. Very nice. These slaughters have nice details. This is a quick one. Mm. Boom. Nice. Well, I think this one is a bit of a winner based on what I'm seeing so far. This is straight out of the box, folks. So we didn't do anything on it. We've done nothing to this at all. Just I checked it over. Um, not touched the tires, not touched anything. It's a bit of a beast, Sash. Yeah, that's for sure. Fantastic handling, hasn't it? Yeah, it it's hasn't gone out on me yet. Duck to the track. Oof. It's a beauty and it's a beast. Hey! Well, this one is a bit of a winner. Definitely. Yeah. I like this one. It's like a beauty and a beast. Well, you've got that very, very light, um, nice, nimble handling. Um, easy to drive straight out of the box with a little bit of tune. And this thing is absolutely going to be a beast. You know what I'm curious? What? I'm curious to have a bit of a Can-Am shootout between this uh, slotted McLaren and the Thunder Slot McLarens and potentially the Shadow. Who's up for that? Oh, yeah, sure All I right. am. Why don't you bring that one back into stable then? And, uh, let's you know what's funny go. about it? Mm. At the... 132slotcar.us, mm -hmm. I was racing for the Team Canam. There you go. All right, what one are you going to run next? I think I want to run the Lola. Okay. She's a nice looker. Yeah. Again, very different uh, car. You obviously you got modern technology there in that uh, LMP type uh, vehicle compared to the older Canam. So, Curious to see how this one goes, Sash. It um, looks like a fast one. Yeah, it looks fast. Let's see how it goes on the track. Some cars need a bit of uh, work out of the box. Uh, others don't. Let's go see. Definitely a little bit louder than the Can-Am. I didn't expect it to go this fast at first. Oof. Okay, now this is a fast one. That's what you call real speed. <laughs> I would love this car as a real one, that's for sure. This thing is stuck to that track like glue. Yeah, that's for sure. It's like a medium loud, but mm. speed, wow, that's for sure real speed. I'm in my wonderland here. Nobody can stop me racing. Do you think you're faster with the Santa hat or without? Faster. <laughs> it's just giving me luck right now. Daisy Duke looking on. Impressed. I should have brought it to the, to the race. 
and Tacoma. Okay, very, very nice sash. I have to say, I'm very impressed with these two slotted straight out of the box. Oh yeah, that's for sure. I can run the, I can run this one forever. So can you get the power down on that straight sash? Oof. Whoa! I wasn't expecting that. All right, when you're ready, let's take that one back into the stable. I could keep doing this forever. Mm -hmm. Uh, All right. I wish I could. <laughs> Is your heart beating? Yeah. <laughs> but of joy. I guess you like this one then, huh? That's for sure. All right. I love that real speed. Okay, Marty. So next one, this one is for you. This is the 962C uh, Momo. Sasha is so excited about that Lola. Her hat, Santa hat's falling off and everything. So. I know. I'm like, <laughs> I know my Santa hat's falling off. No. All right, Sash. Take it away. Okay, now that was just unexpected. It's as quiet as a mouse. That is extreme. Extremely quiet. And fast. I think it might be faster than that Lola. You know the only issue I see here? I could beat you. Well, <laughs> all three cars are very, very nice out of the box. Yeah, I, if I had to pick one, that would be hard. I would just say, as Slot Car Wildman would say, you can't pick one, you have to pick all three. This is like real speed. Okay, now I already got used to it. I don't think nobody can stop me racing this. Hey, it's the end of the video. What? It is? Still racing the car. Okay, this is my new favorite slot in. <laughs> and always will be. Power Marty, down from here, Sash? Marty, I think you should get this car. Marty, this one has to be top of that list. If you don't get it, I'm going to get it for you. Don't worry. Because you need to have this car. All right, Sash. I know you probably don't want to, but... Time yeah. to take that bad boy back into the pits. Oh, well. Okay, just one more. And I'm coming. Okay, folks, we will head back over to the review table, and uh, Sasha will give you her final thoughts. Okay, folks, so we're back at the table. Um, I have to say, I was almost thinking, all right, there has to be something that's you know there's going to be a standout car um i think there is but they're all very very good oh yeah so can you talk us through each car and let us know where the differences were what did you think was the best and why was it the best well i'll start with the mclaren okay so it was as quiet as a mouse as i said yeah. and i just love how it sticks on the track Mm -hmm. It barely gone out on me. Mm -hmm. I like how it ran softly. Mm -hmm. It was really quiet, and I just like how it ran on the okay. track. All right. Uh, next one. Um, I'll do the Lola. Okay. So, the Lola was like in the medium, like, like not really that loud and not really that quiet. It was like in the middle. But the speed, that surprised me when I just gone off. I'm like, whoa, I'm in love and I'm loving. I just don't care who knows it. <laughs> <laughs> Good elf quote. <laughs> this is, uh, I, yeah, I think this was like, it just glued to the track. Um, yeah. It was almost had a vacuum on it. Obviously, you got quite a lot of magnetic downforce, but just a whole low slung chassis. It was really good. Um, it never got out of me. I just love how I really like. I really like the. I probably prefer the Can Am, uh, just purely because I prefer the classic cars. Um, but I have to say that's pretty awesome as well. Um, okay, so final car then. The Porsche. Marty's Porsche. <laughs> <laughs> I 
You should get that, Marty. All right. So, talk to me about this one. It was a quiet and say it was a beauty. Whisper quiet. Oh yeah, I could barely hear it. Like when I'm like, it's not moving. Oh wait, no, it's over the way over there. I'm like, oh my god, I love it. Extremely quiet. It was so box. quiet, I didn't even know where it was. Okay. And it was real speed. Out of all of these, this was the fastest one I ever driven. Uh mm huh. -hmm. Yeah, that was the fastest of the three. I'd look. We'll. I think we need to start um, implementing track times as well. Yeah. Okay. So we may have to do a separate video for track times. Uh, potentially we could uh, let's turn on the time and software and see which you can get the fastest lap from yeah. on the next review video um, and let's ask people do they like the new format with the photo booth and just having a quick look at the car close up like that um, we like the idea of it yeah I think it's a lot easier to show show you what it's like than going like this you know yeah like I don't think I can rotate this quite as well as the turntable yeah, like, like you have to go like how about that? <laughs> and then okay. you would have to spin yourself. Yeah. yeah. So, folks, um, as we said, these have been provided to us for review by Alan over at 132slackcars.us. Okay. <laughs> and we will put that up there. Yeah. Or here. Or here. Uh, check them out. And as we'll see coming up as well, look, great service. They're great people. Um the we're going to start doing this new section soon right and you're probably aware from the previous videos aladdin's slot car cave oh yeah no that was and awesome to see. the tour there's so many cars up there and out of print cars cars that you're not necessarily able to get anymore from a livery perspective so we're going to do a new section we're going to call it hidden gems right it'll be the same review um test an unbox okay but it'll be cars that are it'll be in addition to the new releases cars that you can't get uh anymore and that are out of print and normally you have to pay a big premium for those but you know what's cool about that in what? alan's place what he keeps them as the same prices as they were when they were still out that's a big deal folks <laughs> oh, yeah. that's a big deal so you can you can pick up um some of those out of print cars that you're paying a lot more for uh nowadays you can pick them up for the retail price so coming soon hidden gems um we're looking forward to it we will keep churning out these new releases we have a load of cars coming <laughs> this week uh, i can't even remember what stuff we've got coming but i know alan has sent us a big box of stuff uh, one thing i can tell you is there is going to be some Revo slots in there. Ooh. There is going to be some TTS 124 scale cars oh, in there. Which we is haven't got one TTS First anywhere. for us on the channel. Um, not sure what else, to be honest. But um, yeah, look, thanks for watching, folks. Please uh, hit that bell notification icon. Then they'll know whenever we put out a video, won't they? Yeah. <laughs> and as always... Thanks for tuning in and don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye. Bye.